Hello, Dan Adolkowski here from howtomechatronics.com. In this Arduino tutorial, we will learn how to detect colors using Arduino and the TCS230 color sensor. First, let's take a look at the working principle of the sensor. The TCS230 senses color light with the help of an 8x8 array of photodiodes. Then, using a current to frequency converter, the readings from the photodiodes are converted into a square wave with the frequency directly proportional to the light intensity. Finally, using the Arduino board, we can read the square wave output and get the results for the color. If we take a closer look at the sensor, we can see how it detects various colors. The photodiodes have three different color filters. 16 of them have red filters, another 16 have green filters, another 16 have blue filters and the other 16 photodiodes are clear with no filters. Each 16 photodiodes are connected in parallel, so using the two control pins S2 and S3 we can select which of them will be red. So for example if we want to detect red color we can just use the 16 red filtered photodiodes by setting the two pins to low logic level according to the table. The sensor has two more control pins, S0 and S1, which are used for scaling the output frequency. The frequency can be scaled to three different preset values of 100%, 20% or 2%. This frequency scaling function allows the output of the sensor to be optimized for various frequency counters or microcontrollers. Now we are ready to move on and connect the TCS230 sensor to the Arduino board. Here's the circuit schematic. After this we can take a look at the Arduino code. So first we need to define the pins to which our sensor is connected and define a variable for reading the frequency. In the setup section, we need to define the four control pins as outputs and the sensor output as an Arduino input. Here also we need to set the frequency scaling. For this example, I will set it to 20% and start the serial communication for displaying the results in the serial monitor. In the loop section, we will start with the reading of the red filtered photodiodes. For that purpose, we will set the two control pins S2 and S3 to low logic level. Then using the pulsing function, we will read the output frequency and put it into the variable frequency. Using the serial.print function, we will print the results on the serial monitor. The same procedure goes for the two other colors, we just need to adjust the control pins for the appropriate color. Now, if we run the serial monitor, we will start getting some values. These values depend on the selected frequency scaling, as well as from the surrounding lightning. Note here that the three values differ due to the different sensitivity of each photodiode type, as seen from the photodiode spectral responsivity diagram from the datasheet of the sensor. Nevertheless, now let's see how the values react when we will bring different colors in front of the sensor. So, for example, if we bring red color, the initial value will drop down, in my case from around 70 to around 25. So now, if we want to represent the detected colors with the RGB model, which has values from 0 to 255, we will use the map function to map or convert the readings to the values from 0 to 255. The value of 70 will be mapped to 0 and the value of 25 to 255. The same procedure goes for the two other colors. Here's the demonstration of the example. Note that the colors aren't that much accurate, but they are still good enough for simple projects. As another example of the TCS230 color sensor, in my next video we will learn how to make an Arduino automatic color sorting machine. Thanks for watching and for more tutorials and projects visit my official website howtomechatronics.com